Hey guys, how's it going? SoCal here. Just want to do a video today on how to get your CCW if you live in Orange County, California, uh, due to a lawsuit that I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on, or any detail for that matter. Uh, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has basically found that uh, because open carry has been removed from capability of the average citizen in California, there must be some other way for them to protect themselves, therefore making uh, concealed carry a shall issue if you aren't a prohibited person from owning firearms. Now this is still in the works. Uh, the district attorney, or pardon me, the attorney general uh, has asked the Ninth Circuit Court to reconsider their decision. Uh, so it is sort of up in the air still, but at the moment, uh, Orange County Sheriff Sandra Hutchins is uh, issuing licenses for those who uh, meet some criterion and get proper training uh, and some other stuff. And that's what we're going to talk about today, how to go through that process. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure that you're willing to uh, go through this whole process. It's uh, very detail oriented and uh, the end result is basically a license to carry a firearm and you want to be prepared to do something like that. This isn't for everybody at all. Uh, you need to be able to satisfy yourself that you have the capability of being responsible enough to uh, go through with something like this. That said, uh, let's show you how you do it. Uh, well, I carry pistols. All right, so we're going to go, well, I got mail, check it out. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, go to the Orange County Sheriff's Department website or Google um, CCW and Orange County. And you're going to come across, basically it's the first thing you're going to see on the, uh, the Google search results and probably the second and third as well. Uh, so we're just going to click on the uh, Orange County CCW license link here. It's going to take you to the Orange County Sheriff's Department. Let me bring you in here for a nice close look at this. Okay. You want to scroll down to the bottom of this page uh, and this explains the lawsuit. And at the bottom of this page, you're going to get a uh, little thing you need to fill out here, a little form, and you're going to put your first name, last name, your telephone number, and an email address. Very important information. You need to have a valid email address because they're going to respond back to you via email 99% of the time. Um, so you fill this out, they're going to send you an email that uh, basically says your appointment to come in to do the uh, application is, you know, it's going to be sometime probably in 2017 because of the enormous backlog that they have with the huge influx of individuals that have uh, applied for CCW. Uh, I was lucky. I was within the first like five days of the ruling and my first application uh, response was actually January of 2015, uh, they did call me back and I actually had my first appointment uh, in mid-April. So uh, that's a huge difference, obviously. Uh, Mid-April of this year, obviously. Uh, so you're gonna fill this out. Uh, and then go ahead and start reading. Um, knowledge is power and read all these links here. And uh, you'll notice one of the links is the CCW application form, which I've already downloaded and have running on this PDF. All right. So here you have the application uh, that you're going to go ahead and fill out. It says on the application now, uh, all kinds of fascinating information, much of which is legal. Uh, go ahead and make sure you're familiar with it all. Uh, when you go to fill out the application, you do not want to sign any of it. Don't write uh, your signature or print your name uh, anywhere where you're acknowledging anything. Um, you're going to do that when you get your appointment. Also, uh, here under important instructions, uh, these are incorrect. Uh, you'll see on the Orange County website, 
uh, the, the Sheriff's Department website, that they do want you to fill out all the sections of this uh, application. Uh, it says, this is a DOJ form, by the way. Uh, it's not issued by the Sheriff's Department. So what you want to do is uh, go ahead and look at this where it says important instructions, you know, fill out sections one through five as directed, uh, and then uh, six and seven and eight must be filled in. Uh, at the licensing agency, that's not true. Orange County would like you to fill out the application in its entirety. Uh, so just a lot of redundant information here. Uh, all of these questions I urge you uh, even if you're not sure to answer as l correctly as possible, be very honest because it's a lot easier to recover from a uh, honesty statement or an honest statement rather than uh, trying to flub your way through a lie just to make yourself good. There's no reason you need to lie on this. If you're able to own a firearm and a responsible citizen, there's no reason why uh, you're not going to be able to get a, a CCW. You know, things that are going to get you uh, denied are, you know, judgment calls. You know, are you an idiot? Do you get like four speeding tickets a year? Uh, do you have current DUIs or reckless driving or just obvious bad, bad choices? Uh, lapse of judgment is going to get you denied. Obviously, uh, violent crimes are going to get you denied as well. Uh, but it's really up to the issuing agency. Uh, it leaves a place for, uh, you know, it asks some basic questions. Have you ever been uh, convicted of violent crimes? Are you a citizen of the United States? Uh, are you being sued? Uh, are you subject to a restraining order? Have you ever been convicted, uh, including traffic? Uh, offenses. Uh, gives you a place where you can list them. Again, be totally honest. Uh, number 10 here, very important question. Have you ever or have you withheld anything that might affect the decision uh, of the lieutenant who issued the license? Uh, just be honest. Uh, they give you the option to put in three firearms. Just put any three in or at least one. You have to put at least one down. Um, and you can change it at any time during the application process. Uh, here's just some basic instructions, uh, more basic instructions. Uh, a lot of it's a law and where you're allowed to keep and how you're supposed to keep your firearms. Uh, and then here is a statement basically saying if you uh, have to use your firearm in self-defense and you do maim or kill somebody, uh, you're not going to hold the uh, Sheriff's Department liable or the state of California. Uh, and then more, here's section seven. This is the uh, part that they really would like you to have filled out. Again, you do not want to sign your name or date anything. You'll do that when you get to the Sheriff's Department. Uh, have you ever been, uh, you know, these are basically all the same questions that you have to answer when you uh, buy a firearm in California. Uh, and then number seven, I believe it is, or yeah, I guess it's six or seven, uh, your, your good cause statement. That's what this is. Uh, because of the uh, ruling, that there is no need to explain yourself. So simply putting self-defense or personal protection or lawful use of self-defense is plenty. Uh, and then the rest of it's just signatures uh, and some more laws. You have uh, basically here some guidelines as to what you are and aren't allowed to do when you're carrying. And uh, more of the same. This is uh, all the verbiage that uh, keeps you from uh, owning a firearm if you're not able to. So basically there's not a lot here that you need to fill out uh, compared to the number of pages. So there's 13 pages, but I think there's only four or five that you actually need to print on.